Time now for the morning rush. We begin with breaking news. A suspect is in the hospital after being shot by a deputy. Sheriff Manny Gonzalez confirming that, saying it started with an armed robbery at a Dollar General on Isleta Boulevard around 9 last night. Then another armed robbery at uh, nearby Chevron with the suspect matching the description in the first case. The sheriff says the suspect fired one round into the gas station before leading deputies on a chase into downtown. That's where we find News 13's Sarah Yingling live with the very latest. Sarah. Crystal, you can see that deputies are still out here investigating in the area of 8th and Central. This area continues to be blocked off between 7th and 10th along Central this morning. Sheriff said it's where the suspect's car crashed into another vehicle, injuring the people inside. Two suspects were caught. The sheriff says a third suspect tried to carjack somebody to get away, and at least one deputy fired his gun, injuring the suspect. This all happened as people were out celebrating Halloween. Breaking overnight this morning, UNM officials are warning anyone on campus to be on high alert. UNM police say a suspect pulled a knife on a custodial staff member just after midnight at the Student Union building, then took off towards the Humanities building. The suspect is described as a man in his late 20s with a thin build, wearing black pants and a black shirt. If you see anything, call UNM police. Kristen. Not much in the way of showers today. We have a few spot showers in the eastern plains this morning, but those will be gone late morning. And here comes the sunshine. That's going to be dominating this afternoon, even into the day tomorrow. Nothing in the way of showers or storms. We continue with that gradual warm up through the start of the weekend. David? New this morning, the Pittsburgh synagogue shooting suspect is scheduled to be back in court for a preliminary hearing. Now he's waking up officially indicted on 44 counts for the deaths of 11 victims. Police say 46-year-old Robert Bowers walked into the Tree of Life synagogue on Saturday yelling anti-Semitic slurs and then began shooting worshipers. Federal prosecutors have previously said they plan to seek the death penalty. On to new news this morning. President Trump making a last-minute push aimed at maintaining Republican control of Congress. In the six days leading up to Tuesday's midterm elections, the president is holding 11 rallies in eight states, largely in support of GOP Senate candidates in neck-and-neck -neck races. Last night, Trump was in Florida. This evening, he'll be in Columbia, Missouri. Election day is less than a week away. This year, more, than, more women are running for office, and a huge number of women are heading to the polls. Now, experts predict the so-called pink wave will be a deciding factor in key New Mexico elections. Nationally, more than 500 women are running for office. That includes 54 female candidates right here in New Mexico. Experts are also expecting a large number of women to head to the polls. KRQE political expert Gabe Sanchez says that the pink wave will likely help Democratic candidates, and it could decide key campaigns like the gubernatorial race. On to an update for you, UNM School of Law is indefinitely postponing a lecture by Kenneth Starr. According to the journal, both the university and Starr agreed the timing was not ideal. The law school's assistant dean says they were sensitive to what was going on nationally with Brett Kavanaugh and wanted to choose a better time, citing Starr's connection to the Supreme Court justice. UNM accountant Eric Vogler raised the issue about how Starr mishandled cases of a sex assault in Baylor in 2016. No new date for the lecture has been set just yet. The city is asking the legislature to help foot the bill for work on a proposed plan to expand both Paseo del Norte and Unser Boulevard to four lanes. The proposal was passed by city council and signed by Mayor Tim Keller yesterday. The project will cost around $18 million. About 24,000 vehicles a day drive on Unser and Paseo. Kristen. Today's Metro Threat Index added to looking at some cold temperatures this morning down to the 30s. Breezy conditions at times as winds closer to 15 miles per hour out of the northwest later on today. David? A young boy is waking up a world record holder this morning. At only six years old, Colton Tanner from Albuquerque is now the youngest person ever to climb Africa's highest peak on his own. His parents say after Colton heard about a seven-year-old girl making it to the mountain's 19,000-foot summit, he wanted to try it himself. Colton's parents were with him during the entire hike. What's next for him? That's coming up in the Five Facts. Snow plows will be seen on some streets here in the metro as crews prepare for the season with a mock snow day today. Until about 2 this afternoon, crews will be testing equipment used to clear streets of snow during the winter months. This does include more than 30 trucks that plow the streets and lay down salt. Drivers will also practice their routes to make sure everything is in order before the first snow. Kristen. Time now for a check on that morning commute. We don't have any major crashes or slowdowns on our interstates right now. As Sarah mentioned, that police activity still has Central closed between 7th and 10th Street this morning. You are going to want to find an alternate route there, but the big guy looks good at the hour. Lee, take a look at this. A surprise for kiddos at a children's hospital in San Diego. Window washers dressed up as superheroes 
Thor, Captain America, and Superman all showed up for the special Halloween treat. The employees of the window cleaning company donate their time to do this. They've been doing it for four years already. Look wow. at the smiles. There you go. As far as what's going on today, we are talking 56 degrees. It is going to be still on the cool side, but this is warmer than what we had yesterday. Waiting on sunrise at 727 this morning. And by the way, we talked about the winds. Those will be 10 to 20 throughout the day, closer to 15, 20 miles per hour this afternoon. Now tomorrow, we've got warmer temperatures, 62 expected here in Albuquerque with more sunshine and the winds not quite as bad, but I will say the winds do come up. Saturday and again on Monday with a couple disturbances rolling through. But as of right now, that seven day is dry. All right. To the five facts. Start with number five here. Kids will have a chance today to turn their Halloween candy into cold hard cash. It's part of the 12th annual Halloween candy buyback. Kids can get a dollar a pound for their candy with a max of five dollars. Everything collected is going to Blue Star Moms. That's a local nonprofit that will send the candy to New Mexico troops overseas during the holidays. And number four, a young boy is waking up a record holder this morning. At only six years old, Colton Tanner from Albuquerque is now the youngest person to ever climb Africa's highest peak on his own. His parents say after Colton heard about a seven-year-old girl making that challenge to the top of the 19,000-foot summit, he wanted to try it himself. Colton's parents were with him during that entire encounter, and Colton says his next climb will be Mount Chimborazo in Ecuador. At number three, that's 74 caches. Temperatures on the rise. 56 today, 62 tomorrow, 63 Saturday with breezy conditions. And as you can see, the wind's still a problem Monday, but we will stay near to just slightly below average for the next seven afternoons. Number two now, unit police say a man pulled a knife and a custodial staff member just after midnight at the Student Union building. Officials say the suspect ran towards the Humanities building. The suspect is described as a man in his late 20s, 5 foot 8, thin build, and last seen wearing black pants and a black shirt with white writing on it and fancy shoes. If you know anything about this or if you see something suspicious today, give unit police a call. And at number one, BCSO deputies are still investigating a series of armed robberies that led to a chase and a deputy involved shooting. Now, one of the suspects is still in the hospital. Everything ended at 8th and Central when a deputy opened fire on one of the suspects who they say was attempting to carjack someone. Sheriff Manny Gonzalez says it started around 9 last night with an armed robbery at the Dollar General on Isleta Boulevard, followed by an armed robbery at a nearby Chevron. Now the sheriff says the suspect fired one round into the gas station before getting into a black truck and driving away after chase. The sheriff says the suspect's car crashed into another downtown, injuring the people inside that vehicle. Now, two suspects attempted to run but were caught by deputies. The sheriff says a third suspect attempted to carjack someone and get away. That intersection is still closed at this time. Avoid it this morning.